group and a facility uh, built around different ways to manufacture things, including techniques using micro and nano fabrication. Um, we also have lots of folks with expertise around conventional machining using mills and lathes, as well as novel approaches using additive or advanced manufacturing processes, building things out of metals and glasses and plastics. Our semiconductor facility is, is the building we're standing in right now. It's a, a very unique facility um, and it's an open user facility to everybody at the lab as well as we have outside groups come in and work in our facility. And we have lots of foreign nationals and visiting summer students that come into this building and do, do work. So our national security mission is very broad and it includes things far beyond what most people might think of as national security. For example, we have a track of hardware in our fabrication facility that is dedicated to human implantable medical devices. Um, so we build uh, things like neural implants and we have a history of building retinal prostheses that go inside of a human eye. Um, and that kind of work requires special tools to build things on a micro scale. And when I say micro, that means like millionth of a meter. Um, so a micron is one millionth of a meter. So a human hair, about 100 microns in diameter, and we can control features readily down to a micron in, uh, in size. And we also have a new capability that, where we can define things down to a nanometer. The kinds of substrates we typically work with are these silicon-like disc substrates. This is the material silicon that integrated circuits are generally built from. Um, but this particular device, it's designed to separate biologic samples. So for example, if we sniff air out of the New York subway, where we have some of these devices sitting, we can sniff out and separate out various bacterial threats, um, like for example, sniff for anthrax, to look for bio threats. We also have hardware that's designed to look for chemical threats or radiologic threats. And uh, we also have ability to build very interesting mechanical devices. This is a, a very unique device that is a special instrument that holds the target inside of our NIF ignition facility. And uh, at the center of a giant chamber, there's a little target right in the middle and that arm holds it along with some instrumentation that helps cool that device and, and measure some features of that device right before the laser hits it. We make skinny little devices that are hard to see here, but that is a very thin neural implant with a large array of electrodes that are able to sense activity in your brain. So for example, if you're about to have a, an epileptic seizure, this can detect that ahead of time and perhaps offer a therapy to help that person prevent themselves from having a seizure where they could hurt themselves. So we build a lot of different micro scale devices, but we also um, have staff that come from many different areas of engineering and science, and we all are used to working together across our disciplines to help solve problems, not as individuals, but as a collection of experts. An example of that is a, not a micro device, but a, I'd say a macro device. It's a, it's a larger machine there, but when we heard about the problems with a pandemic and potentially a shortage of 600,000 ventilators, a group of scientists from this and engineers from this organization started working night and day for about seven days a week for about five weeks and we got that machine to the FDA where it was approved several weeks later and is now available for, for use across the country or the globe if indeed there's a need. We've worked on a variety of other COVID-19 response including people in our area building swabs to help with testing and, uh, and, and numerous other technologies to help with finding pathways towards vaccines by using some of our, our, our large computing capability and other, uh, other biologic capabilities to, to help with that, that, those important efforts. We are proud to work on this large array of different technologies to help our nation and the globe and uh, thrilled to have you join us on our virtual tour and really would love to invite you to come visit us in person when you're able. Thank you for the visit. Thank you.